This sound file contains the spoken version of a Wikipedia article on pronunciation of GIF recorded by user Howard Korn 33. The material recorded is current as on the 16th of March 2024. Pronunciation of GIF from Wikipedia the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org An image accompanies the introduction of this article with the caption quote, Steve Wilhite slide at the 2013 Webby Awards The pronunciation of GIF an acronym for the graphics interchange format has been disputed since the 1990s Popularly rendered in English as a one-syllable word, the acronym is most commonly pronounced GIF, with a hard G, as in GIFT, or GIF, with a soft G, as in GEM, differing in the phoneme represented by the letter G. Many public figures and institutions have taken sides in the debate. Steve Wilhite, the creator of the image file format, gave a speech at the 2013 Webby Awards, arguing for the soft G pronunciation. Others have pointed to the term's origin from abbreviation of the hard G word graphics to argue for the other pronunciation. The controversy stems partly from the fact that there is no general rule for how the letter sequence G-I is to be pronounced. The hard G prevails in words such as gift, while the soft G is used in others, such as ginger. In addition, some speak the name of each letter as an initialism, producing G-I-F. English dictionaries generally accept both main alternatives as valid, and linguistic analyses show no clear advantage for either based on the pronunciation frequencies of similar English words. The pronunciation of the acronym can also vary in languages other than English. Contents. The article is comprised of three major sections. These sections are background, analysis, and incidents. There is also one minor section omitted from this recording, that being references. Section 1. Background. The graphics interchange format is an image file format developed in 1987 by Steve Wilhite at the American online service provider, CompuServe. GIFs are popularly used to display short, looped animations. The acronym GIF, commonly pronounced as a monosyllable, has a disputed pronunciation. Some individuals pronounce the word with a hard G, as in GIF, whereas others pronounce it with a soft G, as in GIF. A minority prefer to pronounce it as an initialism, speaking the name of each letter, creating the pronunciation G-I-F. Wilhite and the team who developed the file format included in the technical specifications that the acronym was to be pronounced with a soft G. In the specifications, the team wrote that, quote, choosy programmers choose GIF in homage to the peanut butter company GIF's advertising slogan of, quote, Choosy Moms Choose GIF. According to ABC News, the debate stretches as far back as 1994, with an author of an encyclopedia of image formats stating that, quote, most people seem to prefer the hard G pronunciation over his preferred soft G. Subsection. In French, the acronym tends to be pronounced GIF, with the voiced postal violar fricative J as in the J in the French joie, or the S in the English measure or vision, even though J, which does not occur in native vocabulary, tends to be retained in English loanwords, such as genes. Some languages lack English's soft and hard G sounds in their phonologies. Spanish and Finnish, for example, lack J in their native words. In Norwegian, G-I-F is pronounced with a hard G, G, 
unlike native words, for which the sequence GI would be pronounced with a voiced palatal approximant Y, like the Y in English yes. Section 2. Analysis. Subsection. Cause. In English, the linguistic controversy stems partly from the fact that there is no general rule for how the letter sequence GI is to be pronounced. The hard G prevails in words such as gift, while the soft G is used in others, such as ginger. In Old English, G would make the soft G sound as well as Y's consonant sound, and when the hard G was added, both its hard and soft variations persisted when followed by I. An analysis of 269 words by linguist Michael Dow found near-tide results on whether a hard or soft G was more appropriate based on other English words. The results varied somewhat depending on what parameters were used. Of the 105 words that contained GI somewhere in the word, 68 used the soft G, while only 37 employed its counterpart. However, the hard G words were found to be significantly more common in everyday English. Comparatively obscure words like flibberty gibbet and tergiversate, both pronounced with a soft G, were included in the list of 68 soft GI words. When the prevalence of each word was taken into account, it was found that the hard and soft G appeared in nearly equal frequencies in GI words. No clear favorite was found by only using the words that begin with GI, nor by only using words with one syllable, such as gift and gin. In her coverage of Dow's piece, Canadian linguist Gretchen McCulloch theorizes that since the hard and soft G in this context are used with near equal frequency, when a person first encounters the word G-I-F, they make a guess akin to flipping a coin by comparing it to other words they've encountered in the past. Once they have a favorite, one way or the other, the notion is solidified, leading McCulloch to comment that this, quote, probably means we'll be fighting the G-I-F pronunciation war for generations to come. Subsection. Arguments. A 2019 analysis by linguist Martin van der Meulen found that the most common arguments employed online over the pronunciation of G-I-F are, quote, system arguments which support one side of the debate by contending that the pronunciation should flow from a consistent rule of language. One example of this would be the, quote, system acronym argument, the idea that because the letter G in GIF stands for the word graphics, it ought to be pronounced in the acronym with the same phoneme as in the word, i.e. with a hard G. This particular argument is sometimes accompanied by the quip that if the acronym were to be pronounced with a soft G, the word should be pronounced likewise as graphics. A rebuttal to this argument is that acronyms are not required to follow the pronunciations of their root words. For example, the letter U in the word scuba, an acronym for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus, is pronounced U, even though its deriving word underwater is pronounced instead with a. A similar acronym discrepancy arises with NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, pronounced NASA. Another example of a system argument is frequency analysis, which examines how many other English words employ a hard or soft G pronunciations in other situations, similar to Dow's analysis. After Steve Wilhite announced his opinion that the soft G pronunciation was the only correct form, there was significant chatter on social media and in the press on both sides of the issue. An article by Casey Chan, writing for Gizmodo, argued that Will Height was wrong because soft G words, followed by IF, should be spelled with the letter J, such as the Jiffy in Jiffy Lube and Be Back in a Jiffy, as well as the peanut butter company Jiff. The next most common argument found in Van der Meulen's analysis was an argument that cited an authority, usually Wilhite, as the creator of the file format. 
After Wilhite announced his support for the soft G pronunciation, many recognized him as the authority on the pronunciation of the word due to his creation of its format. Wilhite is the most commonly cited authority for the pronunciation of GIF. 65.2% of surveyed arguments citing on authority favored a soft G. Some, including Casey Chan, cited U.S. President Barack Obama in supporting the hard G. Others cited various dictionaries or software assistants such as Siri as authorities for GIF's pronunciation. Subsection Polling A 2014 Mashable poll of more than 30,000 people worldwide found that 7 in 10 used the hard G. Van der Merlen's analysis found that 57.2% of users who offered an opinion supported the hard G, while 31.8% favored the soft G. The analysis also found that 8.2% of users support both pronunciations, while favoring the soft G, and 2.8% favored enunciating each letter. An informal poll of developers on Stack Overflow show that 65.6% of respondents favored the hard G pronunciation, while 26.3% used the soft G, 6% sounded out every letter, and 2% employed a different pronunciation altogether. However, an analysis from The Economist argued that the disparities in the results were exaggerated by sampling bias. The article commented that while the countries where the hard G is used make up 45% of the world's population, Respondents from those countries comprised 79% of the sample. When the populations of each country were adjusted for, the analysis found that hard G still led, albeit by a narrower margin of 44% to 32% for soft G. In addition, this adjustment brought the popularity of pronouncing each letter up to 21%. This variation is common in Asian countries, where it is employed by half of Chinese respondents and 70% of South Korean respondents. Developed countries as a whole tend to favor the hard G pronunciation. Subsection Dictionaries Different dictionaries disagree on the inclusion and ordering of different pronunciations. The primary pronunciation of Cambridge Dictionary is GIF. The primary pronunciation of Collins English Dictionary is GIF. The primary pronunciation of dictionary.com is GIF. The secondary pronunciation is GIF. The primary pronunciation of lexico is GIF. The primary pronunciation of Merriam-Webster is GIF. The secondary pronunciation is GIF. The primary pronunciation of New Oxford American Dictionary is GIF. The primary pronunciation of the Oxford Dictionary of English is GIF. The secondary pronunciation is GIF. The primary pronunciation of the American Heritage Dictionary of the English Language is GIF. The secondary pronunciation is GIF. The primary pronunciation of Petit Robert is GIF. The primary pronunciation of Petit Larousse is GIF. The primary pronunciation of Tetnerska Academis Ortbok is GIF. Section 3. Incidents. An image accompanies this section, with the caption, quote, The White House's account on Tumblr posted a humorous infographic indicating that GIF was to be pronounced with a hard G. In May 2013, Will Hyde was presented with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the annual Webby Awards, honoring excellence on the internet. Upon accepting the award at the ceremony, Will Hyde displayed a five-word slide that simply read, in all caps, it's pronounced J-I-F, not G-I-F. Here, J-I-F refers to the soft G pronunciation. Following the speech, Will Hyde told the New York Times, the Oxford English Dictionary accepts both pronunciations. They are wrong. It is a soft G. End of story. The audience attending the ceremony reacted positively to the short speech, but it generated controversy online. 
with some commentators pushing back against Wilhite's pronunciation. Van der Merlen remarked that this, quote, seems to be the first ever coiner of a word, or acronym to be more specific, who gave usage advice about his own creation. More than 17,000 tweets were made in the aftermath of the speech, making GIF a trending topic, and more than 50 news articles were written on the incident. The Columbia Journalism Review remarked three years later that the debate seemed to peak with this incident. The peanut butter company, Jif, responded to a tweet asking how they were feeling following the speech, commenting, quote, We're nuts about him today. Seven years later, Jif performed a publicity stunt with GIF hosting platform Giphy. The two companies released a joint statement, arguing that the correct pronunciation employs a hard G and releasing limited time jars of peanut butter labeled GIF instead of JIF. In October 2013, the New York Times faced some light criticism on social media for an article written by Sarah Lyall that began with the words, quote, a GIF, pronounced GIF, is a compressed image file format invented in 1987. The article included a link to an earlier article from the newspaper, covering Wilhite's speech and the quote he gave them. In December 2013, Alex Trebek, the host of game show Jeopardy, attracted media attention when the final clue of the episode referenced Wilhite's presentation and opinion on the pronunciation. Trebek read out the responses of contestants using a soft G when the word G-I-F appeared in the correct responses of all three contestants. In the past, Trebek had pronounced each letter individually to remain neutral. In June 2014, Barack Obama, then President of the United States, opined that the acronym should be pronounced with a hard G when prompted in a conversation with David Karp, the founder of Tumblr. Miles Klee of the Daily Dot highlighted an April 2013 post on the White House's Tumblr blog, which included a humorous infographic with a text, quote, animated GIFs, hard G, end quote. The Wikimedia Sound logo, this sound file, and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 4.0 International License. Available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash four point zero.